Well, a happy Black Friday everyone, the day for questionable purchasing decisions and getting that much closer to your credit limit. And when it comes to buying PC parts, this year's Black Friday is a bit different. There's been so much great tech released this year, but sadly most of it is out of stock for months now. And the situation most likely won't change until like what? Q1 of next year? But let's still try to make the most of it and create a good Black Friday PC. And one thing that's already caught my attention when it comes to Black Friday deals is, uh, you can get yourself a CyberPower PC on, on like a, for only $680, which is good. Uh, don't mind the, the shipping fees because, yeah, I'm, <laughs> as you can see, trying to deliver to the UK. But for uh, $680, you get a 1040F, a 1660 Super, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, <laughs> yeah, that's not the best, and a 500 gig MVMSD, that's really not bad. For $680, that is really, really not bad at all. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Do you have anything else for, like, pre-made systems? We we have this thing from iBike Power. Um, it's a, for $600, 3600, 5500 XT, 8 gigs of RAM, 240 gig SSD. Uh, hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, between the two, I'd definitely go for the other one. I think the other one will be a way, way better gaming experience than this. But that's still, for the price, <laughs> not the worst thing ever. Especially, you know, for a pre-build. you got to remember that kind of pre-builds uh, have different, slightly different uh, pricing standards than just like building yourself PCs. Okay, but anyway, let's start off as usual with a motherboard and wow, have prices for motherboards went down. You can get yourself a X570 US Elite for 180? That is insane. Now, if you don't know about this motherboard, this is like considered one of the better X570 deals out there. And that's the motherboard I have myself. I even did a review on it. I recommend you check it out. But this thing is such a good deal. The only real um, con about it is the lack of a type C at the back however it does have a where is it there, there it is it has a type C up front which means that if you do have a case that supports it then you can have a type C up front however sadly still a lot of cases nowadays don't support front type C I'll definitely go for that if you do need if you really really do need a um, type C port out back what can we go with um oh i was recently recommended what is it called the x 70 tomahawk yeah um from msi apparently that's a really good one and apparently they and apparently they don't have it in stock well that's a that's a shame what about this thing gaming plus doesn't look too impressive <laughs> can i say that it does have a type c though there's type c and apart from that, that looks, <laughs> apart from not looking too impressive, feature-wise, it looks semi-decent. Um, can't see a front type C, but that's fine if you have rear type C, in fact, that's even better. You have um, dual M.2, tons of PCIe 1X, VRMs look not the best, but not the worst either. Uh, yeah, if you want like a re budget X570 option and you really need Type C, I would, I, I would be tempted to make go for this. Anyway, CPU wise, let's get ourselves a nice Ryzen 5000. Oh, wait. Yep, they're still out of stock. In fact, they've been out of stock for so long that I got to reuse that joke for both my Black Friday video and also my Prime Day video. Talk about recycling, eh? Okay, round time. Hit me. What do you have? And memory prices always are really, really decent nowadays. If you are going Ryzen, I'd recommend going with something pretty high speed. So probably this would be enough for most people. It's 3200 megahertz C16. You could probably overclock that for another 3400 megahertz, $63. It's absolutely perfect. Next up, to call the CPU you can't buy yet. Um, what on earth could we? Go with what on earth could we go with? We don't, I've not seen too many great deals for. Um, <laughs> I'm not seeing too many great, amazing deals, but for thingy things, for coolers. But ooh, a pure rock two black for forty five dollars. That looks like a pretty solid cooler. Look at that. 
pretty hefty. It has a, what looks to be a Silent Wings style be quiet fan and those things are super quiet. I use those things in my case and they are really really nice and quiet. So I would probably go for that. It, it is that kind of out, out of stock though. What else could we go with? What about an AIO? What about if you wanted to get an AIO? Um, <laughs> well then, we don't have too many uh, amazing choices that are in stock so. Next up, power supply. What on earth could we go for when it comes to power supplies? I mean, let's be honest, your next graphics card will most likely be an RTX 3000, so you want something good. So let's go with something that's at least 750 watt. You can get a Seasonic GM750 for 100 bucks, which isn't, so 110 bucks, so which isn't the best, which isn't the worst deal ever. A CX750M for 95. Nice to examine modular thing. Um, wow, don't we have too many great PSU options? <laughs> yeah, we really don't. Uh, okay, yeah, I'd most likely say this focus GM750 then. It's 750 watt, it's uh, 80 plus gold rated, semi modular. I would probably recommend going with this for Black Friday. Next up, storage. I want to see what on earth are the deals like for PCIe Gen 4 NVMEs because there better be some good deals. Um, hmm. Not really seeing much that jumps out at me. $200 for a Sabrent 1TB rocket Mimi isn't too bad. In fact, I let you bought it today myself for Black Friday. Um, honestly? Uh, honestly, if you want to go PCIe Gen 4, this will probably be your best option when it comes to deals. Okay, and 980 Pro, but that's only 500 gigs. I'm buying a Gen 4 NVMe that's only 500 gigs. Makes barely any sense. The Corsair Force ones are a bit more expensive, so I probably won't go for that. Actually, actually, there is, the, for $180, you get the Eurus one, one terabyte. It's absolutely amazing. I have it already. And it comes with heatsink. If you don't have some kind of heat, uh, if you don't have some kind of like heatsink, that came with your motherboard, that's what most motherboard manufacturers do now, you can get a heatsink on this. And it's a really good SSD as well. Okay, yeah, that's probably what I would go for. That's probably what I would go for if I want to go PCA Gen 4. Uh, if I didn't want to go PCA Gen 4, I would probably go for... Hmm. Well... Oh, here we have some good deals. A crucial P2 for just $50. I forgot how cheap they are, and it's 500 gigs. Like, this would be so good for, like, your OS and a few games. Like, if you don't want to store too much on it, I would go with a crucial P2 500. Um, for 970, or literally for, actually, no. I, I forget I said anything. A 970 Evo for also 500 gigs for just $10 more. And the speed on this is gonna be infinitely better. Infinitely better. Like, maybe not infinitely, but yeah, a lot, lot better. So, that's what I'd go for. Definitely go for this if. That would be absolutely insane if you put that on your PC. And then for a hard drive, um, I mean, hard drive prices don't really have too much room to fluctuate. Actually, no, you can get yourself a 4 terabyte uh, Sega Barracuda for $80. So if you want to have a really big catalog of games that doesn't have to be too, too fast, that's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. It's still around fifty dollars for the standard one terabyte one. If you don't plan to have too many games loaded onto uh, a hard drive, but that is actually not a bad deal if you really want to have a big collection. Actually, that's another thing I just noticed. Look. It's forty-seven forty-nine for one terabyte, or fifty-one ninety-nine for two terabytes. So if you're planning on buying the one terabyte, just don't. Just buy the <laughs> just buy the two terabyte one. Okay, and finally, case. What do we have for cases? Um, hmm. I mean, they all look pretty um uninteresting. If you want to be a normie, you can as always go for a NZXT H510i or an Edge H510. Okay, there is a 110R for $65, which isn't too bad. That is actually the case I have. It's been serving me really well so far. It's tiny, 
it has uh, sufficient enough cooling. In fact, many people have been worried about the cooling. Don't be, it's good enough for most people. I did a video talking about the cooling. I recommend you check it out. It has a optical disc drive slot if you care about that stuff i do so that's like one of the main reasons i bought it and also at least in my opinion it looks fantastic it's super minimalist and super clean and super sexy and i absolutely love it um so yeah i'd probably say go for that if you want and oh, have i missed anything and just out of curiosity let's see if sound cards i've always been an advocate for sound cards always saying that sound cards aren't dead yet but yeah so there doesn't, there doesn't look to be too many amazing deals for them. $80 for a Sound Blaster Z. $80 for a Sound Blaster Z. $130 for a Blaster X. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, de definitely. Yeah, it's definitely not um, getting me all hot and bothered over sound cards, these prices. So, like I did with my Prime D video, I'm going to link all those parts down in the video description below so you can buy them using our Amazon Associates links because if you use them, you don't pay anything extra, we get some money, so it's an absolute win-win. So if you were inspired to buy any of those parts as part of Black Friday, then definitely check out those links. And hey, while you're still here and want to use, and hey, if you're still here and want to use your money more responsibly, this Black Friday, maybe check out my Patreon, which is also down there in the video description because even one dollar month goes a long way in helping out this amazing channel and allows you to make way better videos on some videos on way more interesting topics. I also love to thank my patrons Gavin Burns and Elko B. Thank you ever so so much. It really does mean a lot. Down there's also our Discord if you want to talk to me or others about this or anything else really. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever next. Goodbye everyone. Good bye.